guys. Welcome back to the Solo Supposed. My name is Rob the Rogue Jedi. My name is Joel the Light Side Guy. And today we're going to be talking about some battle droids. We're also going to be talking a little bit about, um, you know, the transition of why why did they switch off to <laughs> why? clones and then all of a sudden to stormtroopers? I mean, for real. I don't know what's going on right now, but let's kind of get into it. Um, what, what, what? I guess we'll start off by saying Roger, Roger. Uh, <laughs> Roger, Roger. Um, Rob, why do you think, why do you think they got rid of, why do you think they got rid money. of money? You think it was money? No, not at all. Because I know I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, from what, I, from what I've heard and read, and I'm pretty sure you have too, it was yeah. really, it was really cheap to do that, to build them. Um, it was actually the, the, it was the most inexpensive thing they could have done, to be honest with you. But I understand why they went. Okay, so we're talking about battle droids to to clones to stormtroopers, or yeah. we're just talking about it all. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it all. Right, like. Let's talk about from the beginning of the battle droids coming in, right? Um, from Geonosis, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Um, being controlled by General Grievous, um, right. and and well, in no. this time, and in this time, they were like a hundred to one against the clones. Correct. In my head, I would not get rid of these droids. <laughs> I would keep I, them I, using them. To be honest with you, dude, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you my intake now. I personally don't think that they should have gotten rid of them just because of the simple fact that how do you put this? It's, it's just easier to, it's easier to do because you don't have to worry about a clone with a chip getting malfunctioned. And then what happens if that goes South while you're in battle, but at the same time too, you can program them to give you better shots, which we did see. They, their shots were a lot better than the battle droids because they sucked. So you definitely did notice I mean, that. I mean, with with general upgrades and the technology they had, mm -hmm. um, from what I've read, the reason that they didn't humanize them was because they knew that the smarter they got, the, the betrayal they'll get. But a hundred to one, a hundred to one. I mean, dude, I'm talking about yeah. like they're they're destroying these clones. You know what I mean? Like they are they're destroying these these clones. So in my head, I would not get rid of them in that sense. Now they're, well, I mean, they're inexpensive see, to build. You, I mean, you do. I mean, dude, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, you do see at the end, I mean, they end up being they become obsolete because the clones end up basically annihilating them. You know, well, it was, it was also because that. the construction, the construction of them was also being um, eliminated by the Senate, too. So, like, they, right. they were also like structuring this by the separatists and all that stuff. They were structuring right. it to, to end to end and only be using droids, not for manufacturing for that, but as assistance or as something like that. Was Correct. that was that the way it was? Yeah, basically. I mean, look, listen. At which, the end of the day, which we, we saw the Confederate Army use them as, as yeah, other stuff again. Just, yeah, I mean, at the end of the at the end of the day, I mean, I, I just believe either way. If I had to pick and choose, man, I would just pick the robots just because again, it was just easier. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you; it, they were fun to watch. They were fun to see. I mean especially like you know like when you just see like uh what is it kid remember kid fisto like he just goes like that and like he just pushes like force pushes and he's like yeah. you know? so I, it, it was just funny like you had a lot of funny moments with the, with the droids but i could understand it because again uh, you had an that. army yeah no i do too i mean i thought that brought some humor to the uh the the, the original like the prequels you know but i i understand it in a sense of you had the clones where they were just more dominant dude so much more dominant um, you, you had a life, right? I mean, and, and remember you're, you're talking, and when I say life, meaning like you had these actual characters that were stronger, I mean, just stronger in general and that, and they mm -hmm. can battle, they can fight, you know, as a, as opposed to a droid, they can't really do much other than, you know, just get their shots I, up. But I, I think it was, I think it, they, I think it was a crazy decision because you're going from having inexpensive droids, killing yeah. and doing the job that you told them to do, you programmed them to do. Yeah. So now paying for clones to be made feeding yeah. them having them rest having the but also that's too, just dude, i get it but I'm you, like, and, 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 and think and think about this take this one too take a notion for this you had when you made these clones you took the strongest bounty hunter in the galaxy being Django fat so i mean they that was the route that they just they they had to go with and they chose it so it made the most sense at that point in time even though again 
I mean, we see his head get chopped off by Mace Windu, <laughs> which was pretty easy done, and it was pretty nice uh, cut off. But again, you know, you have that, and and look, it gave us the birth of of, of Boba Fett, and we got him. And look at look at where he's at now, right? We have the, uh, yeah. the book of Boba, so I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I, again, I miss them. I think they're fun. I, I just think that <sighs> the very person. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I feel I like, like I both. feel like big. I I do like clones a lot. Um, yeah, I, as, I just as you know, as more. you know, like I, I feel like we got we got a lot of that, and I know that going into the shows and stuff like that, you kind yeah. of are. I'm more biased to it than you are. I know you're yeah. like, okay, I'm done. I don't need to see them anymore, and blah blah. blah. I did, yeah, but well, personally, yeah, talking about yeah. like war tactics and stuff like that, I felt like it would have been easier to have droids still around than all of this, and then go from clones to stormtroopers that can't shoot for. Um, I'm not gonna say the word, but they can't shoot for any, for anything in their life. Oh, stormtroopers? You saying yeah. stormtroopers? Yeah. Well, oh, if, dude, once we go in that, once we go in that be, realm, they to, went to from be, like the best to like the worst. Not they didn't even to, go. <laughs> see, to be honest with you, I was I, I was fine. Like we're gonna go, like like we're going now in order. So we're we're on the clones to stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, like I didn't mind the transition from droids to storm. I mean, to uh to clones. Yeah. I was fine with that because at the end of the, at the end, dude, they're still they're still robots. Just a little bit more human, right? They 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 have you know. Well, a lot more human. Just that's what I'm physical, saying. Physical emotion. Physical being. Right. It, it, that was that was a what it well because they were already born. They were they were already born at the age. Right. right. So they were ready. They were already constructed to be Jango Fett's uh, uh, age, which who knows what I was. I think I, I think I think honestly, the for me, dude, to be completely honest, I think if they would have stuck with more of the uh, I know they were probably a little bit more heavier, the, the B2 units, the B2 super droids, which was those dark ones that I think if they would have stuck with those, those, I think were a lot. I think they were dope. I mean, you saw a lot more of them in. I mean, you saw them in, in the first one, but I think you saw a lot more of them in the, the Clone Wars, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think if they would have went that route, that would have been a lot better. Um, also, too, I don't know. I, that was just more. I, I like them a lot more, to be honest. Yeah, but, to be honest with you, there's so many droids that I did like. The spider droids are pretty cool. They were. Yeah, those spider droids were awesome, dude. They I thought were so they were cool. such a great. I thought they were a great concept, but um, but yeah, I mean, again, uh, going on from clones to stormtroopers, yeah, I still never got that concept. Uh, to me, it doesn't make sense because, again, you had uh, an army. I mean, you had this clone trooper army that was so strong. I mean, think about it. They wiped out the Jedi, something that the battle droids couldn't do. So to me, it didn't even make sense. And, and yeah, I mean, don't even get me started on their shots again. Like, so I, I've, I guess, yeah. I guess go, going back into that, right? Like, that could be one of the reasons they got rid of droids because Jedi were just so dominant comp comp over them, right? So well, I guess yeah, that's the definitely. way. It, it was definitely, I think it was definitely easy for them to kind of basically like wipe them out really quickly. Um, and it was a quick, easy shot to, to get rid of them. Um, and, you know, and, I, we saw it in the movies. It was easy to just kind of just like push them around. And now why do you think it was so, why do you think it was much harder for the Jedi to, um, try to annihilate the clones, if I may ask. Why do I? Well, I'm sorry. Repeat that again. So, why do you think it was so so easy for the clones to annihilate to the annihilate. Jedi compared to the Jedi fighting back? Was to it be was honest, because uh, just overpowering? Or was I think it was it because over they were I, more human. I think it was overpowering. I think it's a little bit of both. Also, to I mean, the, the army. I mean, look at the. I mean. The Battle Droids did have an army too, but I just believe that with the clones, I, I think you just had their shots were a lot more accurate. Again, you, you they 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 were programmed a lot better than the Battle Droids, and, and we learned that, right? We, we know this, right? But, you know, again, it, it's just one of those things, like when Order 66, when they executed Order, Order 66, everything was just in line, bro. It was just, it was... It was one of those things. It was meant. It was. It was made in the stars. You know. It was just meant in the stars where you saw that they just literally annihilated them quick, really quick. And again, they were a lot stronger because again, you had the DNA of Jango Fett, and I think that that definitely plays a big part because Jango Fett was a big bounty hunter in the galaxy, very strong. So again, you have somebody who is strong in the galaxy and could get their shots in. You're getting a really good bounty hunter, like I said. So it's going to be different as opposed to a battle droid, and that's why you saw a lot of those those shots land a lot more compared to the battle droids. You know, I I think I think 
that route of going clones was definitely um although oh, it, I, it, although, it although, although I love the phenomenal. droids although I love the droids and you know yeah. killing less humans was probably the best route to go because you had more you could just yeah. build another one um yeah. we 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 didn't make it they didn't make a better decision when it came to um clear tactics and making sure that everything was done better now uh. Going from clones into and, stormtroopers, I guess. But uh, go, go first, go first, go first. And, and one thing we have to take note of the training process that they went through the clones themselves. It wasn't just like a simple program. They went mm-hmm. through trial and error. They did go through these things on on um, on Camino before they were let out. They went through these tactics inside that they were prepared for this. They were prepared for this for years when they were making them. So they were they they eat they bred they they did all of this in Camino. So they were ready, dude. This was something that was that was being worked on for years. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. So that and we it saw was... that in the movie. And look at and you saw, dude. You you saw Obi Wan's face in in um, Attack of the Clones when he went to Camino. He was like he didn't even know because remember he was there for, for he was there to receive a message that really wasn't even um or to deliver whatever the case may be. But it wasn't even for that, right? It was all set up. So and he was oh, shocked, dude. He was shocked because, dude. I mean, and you saw how they like literally like they shot, and that was the thing. They were developed shoot to kill. That was their thing, shoot to kill. Doesn't so, that doesn't that sound familiar? Sorry, sorry. I get I get a little political right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no. Uh, anyway. I, I, it's it's life, guys. But um, well, it's, it shouldn't happen in life. No, but, sorry, yeah. guys, but yeah, this is this is the life we live. But um, going back into into that i mean it, this has been around for years yeah. um darth plagueis um it, is it was around then when the when the army started for the republic um yeah Sidious. Well, remember he's the one who brought Sidious in as we know mm-hmm. you know he basically that's why you know you had the death of him through there because you know he slipped the roof <sighs> he slipped a little roof aloof you know but you know he was the one that basically started everything he got him in um and that's how you saw the range of the setup. The setup for the droids was him. Yeah. The setup, guys. This goes back. This goes back. Yeah. <laughs> this goes real back. And you know what? I, I, I'm excited to see if the acolyte might talk about it. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna talk about battle droids. No, I don't. Uh, think so. I mean, I would. I would I, let me get one, bro. No, you can get one. No, that's fine. Bro. <laughs> let me get one. Just, let me just I get a I head. don't even. I don't even. I don't even. To be honest, I don't, I don't even think, think we're they, gonna get that. I, I don't even think we're gonna get Plagueis like that or or Sidious. I think we'll get a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be much. I think it's gonna be more featured on this um, female Sith character more. But anyway, I mean, um, unless unless there's additional seasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, other, but I mean, you can't. That's the thing. You can't really do much more with that because it's um 50 years before. So how much? I mean, they could do four or five seasons of this thing, man. You can. You can. You can skip but, some years. Yeah, you can. Um, but again, going back into, um, clone troopers. Yeah. I guess right before we go right into stormtroopers, um, I guess you've, you've seen clone wars, like we all have, um, who would be your guy? Who would be your clone trooper? Who would be my clone trooper? Yeah. Who would be, who would be your favorite, man? It's okay. Take your time. Don't, don't, don't feel like you have to, uh, you have to rush to this, uh, uh, I, I guess Bad Batch out of it too because you already know I'm gonna pick one of the Bad Batch, but I, I'll yeah. take I'll take a different guy. Uh, we're, we're combining both. No, nah, let's just let's just yeah, just clones, just just clones. Who's your favorite clone? Let's say from the Clone uh, Wars. Yeah, I would say. Uh, Excuse me. Again, guys, I'm not really into the clones. I'm sorry, but if I had <laughs> to pick one, I mean, I guess it would be Commander Wolf. Yeah, he, he's a pretty cool character. I, I liked him. Yeah, I, I think he's a cool character. Also, too, I just I liked his his green attire. Yeah, I mean, I th- he's, I th- he's that- definitely a dope a dope character. I feel like he has a lot of like intricate parts and a lot of like mm-hmm. things that play in the show too. So, I see. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah, I, see no, pers- I, I, I see your personality in him a little, a little bit. Yeah, too. so I, I I liked him. I thought he was pretty cool, and you know, I, no, I just liked it because he again he, he he dealt with a lot of Ahsoka too. You know, when she was younger as well. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was pretty cool. You know, we see that in the beginning in the first seasons. You know, so uh, yeah, I like I like Commander Wolf. You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a good pick, bro. Don't 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 <laughs> underestimate yourself right now. No, 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 no. It's not even <laughs> underestimating myself. It's just like I said, I'm not really into clones like that. So you know, um, I don't want to let people down and whoever. But 
yeah, I know, right? We we need we need subscribers, guys. We need we need people. Yeah. To so you know, I'm <laughs> so I'm not picking any any big ones. Like I'm not picking what is it, Rex or you know, or Cody. That and see, that's that's one of like one of my guys is always gonna be like a guy like Rex, right? I do like Commander Cody. Um, he was he was a, a good fit to be around uh, Kenobi, and I think that we might get to see him in the show. I mean, I hope so. I think in a flashback or something like that. We've talked about it before. Um, I, I like him a lot. Um, if I had to go outside of the realm of of like Rex and um, Bad Batch and all that other stuff, Wolf is definitely another character I like. Again, guys, I have to ask. I have to, I have to ask. I, I totally. I, I know I said green. I don't know in the show it looked green, but I just noticed it's gray. I'm a little yeah, yeah, yeah. That. No, but I, I understand. I, thought, I, understand I, I, I honestly thought. No, I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I really thought it was green. It oh, you're too. good. Like, you're good. No, even I, I still look at the pictures. I was like, dude, it looks green, but yeah, you're good. You're good, bro. Don't worry about it. Like you said, you're not, you're not, you're not 100 into that, so it's it's alright. You know what I mean? Like, no, but it's funny because, dude, I was literally watching good. the cloners. It looked green. <laughs> like that's why I was like, yo, let me like look back because I'm like, I know I'm not crazy, and no, there's an image. I swear to God, dude, I was just looking at the at the the first seasons of the Clone Wars, and it looked green, and I'm just like, why does it look green? And then others, it looks gray. So I'm like, is it me or is it Google that's letting me down right now? Who's letting me down? I don't know. <laughs> a, a lot of people are, are letting us yeah, down, Rob. <laughs> I know, right? I know, dude. But yeah. So yeah, my guy's Wolf, bro. I, I'm going to stick with green because it look it looks green to me. So um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, right now, I think Commander Cody will definitely be a cool, intricate character for me. Um, yeah. The loyalty he had with, with Kenobi and throughout the show um and and just the way he battled and everything i i really like him um yeah. and then i guess it would be rex um wolf fives um all of them too but um again those are all the guys that we really get to see on the show we don't really get to see anybody <laughs> crazy like that in the show like some really weird intricate stuff into the bad batch get in um but yeah i think cody i think cody would be my, my next one if i guess if if i had to pick yeah um, that's awesome dude yeah, I, I like his outfit. I mean, I like I like the little the little camera setting and a little you know the walk. I like his whole saw helmet. So helmet's really cool. Probably be the next purchase of mine. Um, but yeah, no, get getting into uh, the clones now having amazing tactical powers. I guess you can say or abilities. brains and abilities and skill to uh, stormtroopers. And I'll let you I'll let you rant on this one, bro. I know, I know you. I know you have a problem with this one, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just. Uh, I I know we touched on this a lot with the bad batch. I'm gonna just make it short and sweet, man. Okay. I just. I'm just. Look. At the end of the day, like, I, I understand it. <laughs> I understand why you went. I mean, no, I don't understand it. I don't, but I do at the same time. But it just makes no sense because you're sitting here. You're giving stormtroopers an edge. Well, you're giving them a, a hand, meaning like now you're hiring humans right so we were going we're shying away so i'm just explaining it now we're shying away from the clones as time goes but vader ends up keeping his his fist right he does have some clones he i think he was the only one and Palpatine actually didn't want him he didn't care for them really so now as you see now he is hiring stormtroopers because it was the cheaper route as well too that is one of the things that they said it not me and you know as time goes whatever you notice that, I mean, in, in the OTs, you, which is the original trilogy, and you notice throughout everything, their shots suck, right? And everybody's like, well, why do their shots suck? You oh, know? Yes, they and, do. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to explain why. Because this is what we're led to believe, right? This is one of the things that are said, and this isn't something I quote, this isn't something I made up, this is something that's said throughout the galaxy, right? You know, this by, by different people, and what's, what's said out there, you know, on, on paper that basically whoever is force sensitive or around for somebody force sensitive, that shot will basically deflect and not hit you at all, which I think is pretty funny. I just think it's interesting because if that was the case, then why would you go that route? Why didn't you just stick with the clones? Because clearly when clones shot to kill, it landed. And you notice this throughout the sequels as well. I mean, they couldn't shoot for fish. So um, 
I mean, I, I don't, I personally, dude, it just doesn't make sense. Um, again, I'm hoping that it's something that the Bad Batch can touch on because to see the transition would be awesome to get a better understanding as to why we got this switch. Do you think because all this happened, mm -hmm. we spoke about it with the Bendu as well. Um, mm -hmm. Do you feel like this is kind of like the force pushing back? What do you mean with, with, with the... With, the with what's going on with... So what happened with the droids ending, the clones ending, and now being here with the stormtroopers that can't aim for nothing, can't do anything, basically. Do you right. think that's a force? That's the force pushing back against the Sith as well? I, yeah, I think so, because you're creating a balance because you're not killing off, essentially, who ends up being the, you know, the chosen one, technically, which is Luke. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with, I, I think th th that has to do, play a part in that, because if that was the case, Luke would have died first shot, right? We would have seen that already, but he doesn't, because he ends up living and surviving throughout the, all the movies, you know? The only way he dies is, as we see, you know, in The Last Jedi, you know, by the hands of his nephew, um, you know? So, so, so yeah. I guess, I guess going back into, like, like, now going to, like, the scripted side of it, I wish we had yeah. more humor. Um, and I feel like that's what they're doing now with Stormtroopers. They're giving them a little bit more humor like they did in The Mandalorian. Um, yeah. But I wish we had more humor like they had with the droid army. Yeah, I think the droid army was 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 a, was a fun route to go. I mean, it was definitely a funny route to go. I mean, again, you saw a lot of, a lot of uh, like, like you said, humor out of it. You know, I just don't think that, I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the route they're really looking to go because that's too far back as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, do you feel like there's going to be more of that though? Do you feel like there's going to be more humor within, within that, that realm of, of characters, I guess, for the separatist or for the, the Confederate, whatever you want to call them? No, the I don't, I, no, I don't say, well, well, I mean, I don't think you would see humor in the empire. <laughs> I don't think we ever saw that. I mean, I would see it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're, I we're, we we're, we're starting to see it. We're starting to see it in Mandalorian. Right. So, I mean, just just with but, the clone, but is with it, the stormtroopers, I guess. We do humor. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, the baby I don't I don't, when when they when they're trying to when they're trying to get the baby on the motorcycles, uh, the two stormtroopers look at each other and they say something. When they're both uh -huh. uh, standing on guard. Do you remember they're all, they're they're both on guard? Yeah, I, I think you're like always yeah. Thing. I mean, if if you're talking about like like yeah, like you're always gonna have some sort of a humor in a movie. I mean, we see it you know in, in the sequels as well. You see it in the Clone Wars as well. You're always gonna have something that's gonna be funny. Um, are they gonna? Is that gonna be their pivotal focus? I don't comedy. I don't think so. No, that's what you're yeah, asking. I'm me not, I don't. I don't think. I don't think there's gonna be a pivotal focus. But I, I think having them do it is definitely a comedy relief that we need to see in the film. Or in a uh, show? No, I, my opinion, no, because you think I think just they need be to more sarcasm with characters. That's gonna add humor. Oh, I have no idea. I'm just saying what I would like to see personally, dude. I, I again, you know my route, like with the acolyte. I, I, I'm not <laughs> looking for fun. Like? Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not looking. For, I'm not looking for that. That's why you again. It's it. Disney owns it, right? So you, if I want to see something comedy, I could just go look at my man, um, uh, Forky. If I want, if I wanted to. You know, he's got his own little shorts, short films. I mean, I'm just being honest, bro. I mean, I'm not looking for Star Wars to, to give me jokes. I mean, it's cool every now and then. I'm not going to lie, but that's not what I'm looking for because there's a lot that needs to be fixed with that. So once they could fix yeah, a lot I, of other I things, just then like, I just focus on like, that. I just feel like <clears throat> going back to the, all these armies, like we've had a lot of good and bad. And yeah. there are a lot of things that I miss. Mm-hmm excuse me, from the droids. Yeah. And then there's a lot of things that I feel like are lacking um, in other films with with that as well, uh, yeah. with, with comedy relief, with then becomes things that don't make sense, for instance, the shooting and all those other things that they went from. Like, like I think it was you that quoted it that said, like, Star Wars always goes backwards. And I feel like that's exactly yeah. what the Sith are doing. They're going backwards. Yeah. Like, they're not really taking anything and moving forward with it. They go from 100 to 1, basically a droid army that can kill everybody, except for maybe controlling uh, 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 Jedi, to another yeah. army that's like, okay, you have better aim. 
you know, you have a better, like, oh, you're about to get good and then take 14 steps back with yeah. uh, stormtroopers. So oh, that's I, why I, that's yeah. that's why you saw their demise. That's why you saw them the downfall because they weren't as strong as they were. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, how is that a rebel alliance could kill them all, could beat them, blow them up? I mean, seriously, was it was it the will of the force though? Uh, yeah, I would say yeah because again, I, I I would say yes. Uh, I'm gonna say why because. After Return of the Jedi, for all we know, we don't know much on the character of Snoke, but he could have existed already. You understand? So once once you lose Palpatine, once you lose Vader, there has to be a balance in a sense of you have to have a middle, you have to have a Sith, you have to have some yeah. sort of 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 a of a dark. And I think that that's where um that's, that's where Snoke film? came in. Hmm. No, no, I'm saying like that's where oh, okay. that's where Snoke comes in because you you created that balance. And now that's where you have Ben, right? And that's where you get Ray. Because again, what happens with Luke? Luke ends up turning himself off from the Force. And that's where you get Ray that comes out of nowhere. And that's why we get the character that has no idea who they are, um, unfortunately. So um, yeah, that's why you have Kylo Ren. Because again, before Ray, who was dominant? It was the First Order, right? The, and at the, end of the, at the end of the day, that balance was looking for something. And that's why, and again, that's where you get Ray because she brought that balance. And we can sit here and say, oh, well, you know, it doesn't make sense. We can, which we understand, you know, again, we all know that she admitted she had no idea she was a Palpatine. She thought she was a Kenobi. She thought that she was a Skywalker. That, bro. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. I'm just explaining. No, no, no. no, I'm, I get not. It, I get it. I'm just explaining like each part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I'm just saying you had to have somebody, somebody had to come out of the, out of the, out of the woodworks. Do you somebody had was- to come out of the trenches. No, and that goes back to the Bendu thing. But anyway, go ahead. So we yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy though, like how like how that yeah. all intertwines. Guys, if you haven't seen that, um, go go watch that Bendu video. We talk a little bit about that. And if you guys yeah. have any questions, comment out. comment comment about it. But um, no, dude, I I wanted to talk about these droids and the transition to all this stuff because I feel like yeah, I just feel like we the we. I feel like a lot of what the Sith could have been yeah. was also due to the demise of what they did. They did. So yeah. to, to, and, and to that question, to this is my next question to you. Um, real quick, real quick, real quick. Order 66 mm-hmm. executed on time prematurely. What do you think? No, it was on time. Everybody was where exactly they needed to be. Because after watching it the films, perfect. after watching the films, I think they made it seem that it was perfect, but I also feel like it was also premature. He seemed rushed. Who to seemed doing rushed? It. Palpatine. No, I, don't... I felt like he was rushed. Chancellor. I felt like everything was happening. Such <laughs> I said, Chancellor. Did I say Chancellor? No, it was just you did it. No, no, no. You and said, I said it his right. name and then I said it back. It's just because of my job. No, 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 no. It's because of my job. I think. Oh, okay. Of, yeah. I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure I said it right. I'm like, I'm like going crazy no. right now. Guys, if you guys don't know, we filmed this late at night. We're, we're like, that's why I'm, t- yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just uh, laughing. Out no, of my, but, out of my a. um, no, yeah. Um, I felt like after watching it, I just like, yo, dude, like, is he seems like he's being rushed. Like, I, I don't know if, I don't know if maybe I was seeing it that way, but like things were really going bad for him. And he was just like, okay, we're going to just have to do this now. Yeah. My man got like, like, did you see his face, bro? Like, yeah. after, like, of course. Yeah. But no, I mean, it, it was, it was already time because again, he got what he wanted. Anakin fell to his knees. And remember he says, I'll do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? So it was already time and it was the perfect, it was the moment that he needed. And that's why he says, you know, you know, Lord Vader, you know, um, he was going to Mustafar doing what he had to do. And, you know, and that was it, you know, go my young apprentice, you know, like that, that was, it was already done. Back to the Bendu. Back to the Bendu. I will do anything you want, my (laughs) pastor. I will do anything you want. Going back to the Bendu, he calls it, guys. Like he knew what it was. He was. He didn't even have to be there. He just knew it. Um, yeah. This it, it's crazy how everything intertwines and connects. Like even when he, even when the Bendu says, you know, like you will be even trade by your own demise of trying to be as good as you want to be. I, that's not the exact words. That's just the perception of what I understood. So like yeah. um, being the 
you can be you can be taken you over be by how you good be. You, you can be taken over by how good you are like you want to mm-hmm. do so much good that you end up doing evil yeah that's exactly what the jedi did and again that that goes to um a lot of the theories that people have with luke and and tlj you know like or just in general in the sequels where he lost hope because you know one of the things is that he you know he did a lot of killing as well too man the guy was probably depressed you know like from what people say, you know, or what they feel. I mean, I don't think that's what it was, but I'm just going off of what people did, do say and what they feel because they resonated. You know, it goes to show you, you know, a lot of these Jedi do a lot of things that, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, what is it? Uh, there's a video out there. I think uh, Dr. Shig uh, she had said it. To us, yeah. yeah, that, you know, um, Obi-Wan, I think, had PTSD or something PTSD, like that. Or, yeah. so, you know, so who knows, man, what, what Luke went through. I, I don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these Jedi, we, we don't really know. How they feel, you know, when they're they going into exile, you know, and all that stuff and not having a place where they can. Well, yeah, that's you know. leading into the sequels, but I'm just saying, like, even before, like, you know, you don't you don't really know, man. We don't we don't know what they go through. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But um, um, no, I, I love the conversation today about um, George and stuff like that. Guys, this is not the first and last time we will be speaking about this, but no, no, no. we kind of got on, touched it, on we, it too. We, and we've touched about it in our lives yeah. and all that stuff, but. I wanted to go into, I just wanted to like, just kind of get, pick up Rob's brain today about it. I know we were probably all over the place, but to be honest with you, it is late at night. We, we, That's what makes we, it fun though, man. Like, really like, fun. Touching different topics as well within the topic. Yeah. Cool. yeah. And, and, and honestly, like, um, honestly, another moment like this would be great um, to talk yeah. about again. Um, guys, if you guys have any comments, anything like that, please write it down below. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching the Solos post today. Um, Rob, you have anything else to say? Nothing else. Um, just remember, guys, keep tuning in. Stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're always in the know. And, guys, enjoy it. We, we love pumping out this stuff. We appreciate your support and positivity as we see and notice that you guys are spreading the word of the Solos post. We, again, appreciate it and so grateful for it. Um, just keep it going. Keep watching. Keep keep pumping it out, guys. We really do appreciate you guys. For the ones that do watch it, you know, and if you haven't watched the Solos post, it's totally okay. But it doesn't hurt to sit there and uh, give it a try, you know, something different, you know, and we'll appreciate it, you know. So thank you. For sure. Um, thank you guys again. Thank you, Rob. And uh, guys, hit that like and subscribe button, right? Have a good one. May the force be with you. Later, guys.